A perfect marriage between a war veteran coach and high school girls soccer team has resulted in one of the biggest local turnarounds this century. It's the ultimate story of determination going on right here in the Lower Valley. Here's ABC 7's Nate Ryan with Extra Perspective. It's 7 a.m. early Thursday morning, but in the Lower Valley, the work has already begun. A playoff spot depends on it. Now, two years ago, you may not have expected it from the Isleta girls soccer program. Everyone obviously made fun of us, like, oh, you guys always lose. My motivation was over here, and then it went down and down and down. We had to um, completely take, take apart what we had and rebuild a brand new, a brand new team. A brand new team, but with the same players. Hey, hey, hold it here, hold it here, let's go. Enter Hector Cano, who took Isleta's head coaching job in 2019, inheriting a team that had finished in the bottom of the standings. Clearly, they, things needed to be organized and structured, and they needed to be motivated, uh, but they also needed some positive reinforcement. They needed some people to kind of to be consistent with them. For the girls' soccer program here at Isleta, motivation starts as the sun comes up. It's the constitution of the man responsible for this program turnaround, who's overcome battles far beyond just his home field. That's because Cano learned about structure in the United States Air Force, where he served two tours as a field operator in the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. But a life-changing event gave him all the perspective he needed, one that fuels his own motivation today. Part of our our snatch and grab operations, our combat team, what we were doing, uh, kind of heavy fire and was at the wrong place at the wrong time with an RPG blast. Kenna was told by doctors he had less than a 10% chance of ever walking again. But after a year of rehab, therapy, and self-will, Kenno conquered the odds. Was I stubborn about it? Did I want to believe deep in my heart and my soul that I was going to prove people wrong and want to walk again? Yeah, absolutely. You don't, you don't ever give that ultimate power to to any other man any person right that's that's for the the higher being to make that final decision in recovery cano found outlet Adelaide. in coaching talk with monty talk, don't just drift perhaps it's why he took the isleta job to rediscover the team's confidence i told him it's like look you guys have been doing your things your way for a long time, and it's gotten you here. I said, now, I said, we're going to do things a different way. And and they bought in. Cano's early conditioning and hands-on approach paid off in a 10-win season, the school's first in 12 years. He's been really tough on us, which is something that we needed. Previous years, we didn't have that. Now, Cano indeed instructs the girls on the field, but drawing on his own experience teaching lessons for life. Being committed to excellence in everything they do, not just when they're on the field, not just when they're in the classroom, but hey, can, you know, when you go home, are you being a leader within your family? I don't care if they're throwing out the trash, doing it to the best of their ability. That mindset, it's, it's about standards. Either you're, you're meeting it, you're exceeding it, or you're falling, you know, you're falling, you're below it. And for a team that only needed a little kick, they got one in their head coach. When he tells us that we could do anything we can and we can put our minds to it. He's walking proof that that's possible. Nate Ryan, ABC7. Now that is some good perspective. Coach Cano just celebrated his 100th career win Tuesday night, and the Isleta girls soccer team currently holds the fourth and final playoff spot in their district.